Okay, y'all, so I didn't know if I wanted to put them in a jar, so I found this ice cream container, and I started to, like, scrape off the little, like, logo on it so I could see them, but fuck all that. So I ended up going outside, and I got some moss, some soil that was already wet. I got a wet sponge, and I put it in there and cut it up so it wasn't so big. Some sticks, and that little jumping spider jumped right in there, and he flippin' loved it. gonna call him charmander or halloween or pumpkin maybe pumpkin because he's black and orange but he's just having a freaking ball in there like he's having a ball i ended up going on walmart and buying him like a little terrarium thing so let's see how it goes and i put some like dead flies in there and shit so he's not starving Y'all, and I read up like crazy on YouTube, of course on YouTube, and they said that they're not an animal that like has to catch their prey, like it can already be dead. And I got hella crickets out here, hella mealworms, so he will be good and dandy. So the story on this, one time I had this little like a spider that would live in my gas tank and I ended up like he stayed there for a week. So this time I was just like I need to keep this freaking spider. I have a spider tattoo and he was living in my window seal thing for like maybe like three or four days and I was like buddy. So I don't know. I just decided to keep him. But yeah, that's Koshi Koshi in the background. Thank y'all for watching or whatever. exploring the whole damn place he just like looking around the new town you know just doing his thing i'm trying to get some angles of him but he's like no bitch i don't want a picture i don't want a picture i just want to like chill so yeah that's kind of what's going on there So that's Pumpkin, the new jumping spider. Thank you for watching. Ha! It's a new city. Bye-bye.